<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It's a beautiful day. We just got this uh, cabinet, this metal locker cabinet from somebody. They're getting rid of it and asked if we want it. So obviously we sniped it. Uh, it is in this bright red color though, and we're not into that. So Danielle thought an army green would be good. So I'm gonna sand it down and spray it today and maybe make a new home for the lizard. So let's do it. The thing I did was grab these drop sheets that I normally use when I'm painting walls and stuff and just put them out on the patio just to make sure if I do miss with my spraying I won't get anything covered in paint. And the next step would be to take the shelves out but I had to take them out to get it out here. Uh, they just sit on these pins. I'm pretty sure this thing's from Ikea so you just want to take those out and make sure you don't lose them. Next step is going to be to take the doors off so that we can start sanding. So one of the keys actually got broken off in here so uh, I'll probably try and get that out if I can. Uh, but we're just going to take them off and they're, they're just on these little L-pin hinges that are clipped in. So we're just going to straighten those out a little bit and pop the pins out, take the doors off, and then we can disassemble the locks and pull them out so we don't paint them. Now for the lock mechanisms, you can't obviously do it from the outside. But on the inside, there's a little screw here that holds the lock part. And then the actual key mechanism is just bolted on with this big nut. So we're just going to take those off. Get the other one off and the other thing I can do is just pop these little rubber stoppers out because we don't want to paint them either. If we can without wrecking them, there we go. So I am going to do two, maybe three sands on this. I'm going to start with something a, a bit rougher, uh, like an 80 to get the shine off because the idea is you want to get whatever's on there that's finished roughed up so the new paint will stick. And then I'm going to go over it with uh, something a little bit finer to make sure it's smooth. And if I'm not happy with that, I'll find an even finer sandpaper just to go over and make sure it's smooth before I paint it. Um, so I just have this block to cut off from the cabinet we made. And having a block just makes it easier to sand. So we're going to try and get pretty much everything sanded. I'm not going to take it apart anymore. We're just going to get everything that's visible as, as of right now down. And I think we might paint it in a couple steps, do everything we can see let it dry, spin it, flip it, whatever to get the inside. Um, just make sure we get everything covered and we don't get too much paint on anything because the spray paint runs and when it runs, it looks terrible. So anyways, let's get it all sanded down and then cleaned up and get ready to paint. So we're actually not trying to take all the paint off. We're just trying to get the shine off and make it rough so it'll take the other paint. You can see the difference between this and this. That's all you want to do. You don't want to beat it up too much and get any huge, huge scratches in it. So before I flip it to get all the parts that will be easier to sand when it's upside down, I'm going to take a wet cloth, get the dust off, and then take Another piece, this is 180 grit, and go over these spots as well. So you can see the big difference. See, everything here has only been done once. This has been done twice with the 180. So it's quite a bit smoother. So I'm just gonna wipe everything down, like I said, with a wet cloth, get all that dust up, and then go over it all with the really fine sandpaper. And then we're gonna flip it and sand uh, all the other pieces. I'm just gonna flip it and do everything else uh, from the other side, get all the little nooks and crannies and then sand the shelves and the doors. Cool. So I've been sanding for a couple hours. It's going pretty good. I only have two shelves left. Um, you can see the sun's starting to go down, which isn't a huge deal. I just would rather not work in the dark if I don't have to. Uh, but 
and see my breath, it's starting to cool off quite a bit. And we don't want to be spraying uh, in the cool weather. Uh, it messes the paint up and it won't dry properly. So we're going to come back tomorrow in the middle of the day when the sun is shining and it's a bit warmer. Uh, I'm going to finish sanding up tonight though and then wipe everything down and then we'll clean it again in the morning and paint. So it has been a bit of a week since I did the sanding on this. It just, the weather wasn't cooperating and it didn't get warm enough to spray. Uh, doing spray outside, you gotta have at least 10 degrees Celsius or the paint gets thick and it runs and it doesn't go on as even. So I do have a bunch of rags and a bucket of water and I'm gonna wipe everything down again and get it nice and clean and then leave it out to dry and hopefully by then the sun will be hitting here and we'll have a warm enough day to get spraying. All right, the sun's coming out, everything's pretty well dry, so I'm just gonna take this dry cloth again and just wipe the rest of whatever dust and water is off, and then uh, we're gonna get spraying. Just gonna see if we can pry the feet out so they don't get painted. I'm gonna start with the bottom and the inside so that I can paint that and then flip it and do the top and let it all dry at the same time. You don't want to be too close. You want to start spraying while you're doing motion and just keep kind of going, so. Now this is all I got done before I ran out of paint, a surprise. So, bought two more cans. It says twice the coverage, but I don't know about that. I mean, it looks all right. There are definitely some spots that need another bit. And just for fun, while we wait for the rest of this to dry, I found some black, some black rustoleum. So I'm gonna paint all the hardware for the doors. I'm not really sure if it's gonna stick or not, but I think it'll look better black. If it doesn't stick, no big deal. If it does, great. Overall, I'm pretty stoked about how this turned out. I think it looks great with Puff in there. She's got a new home to watch her fish. Uh, she was sitting by the window for a while, but it's getting a little bit too hot with the sun beating down and I can't be there to monitor temperature all the time. So this is a much better place for her. Uh, there are a few spots on the inside that got scratched up from the doors moving and from when I put the shelves in and I'm not sure if I didn't wait long enough for the paint to harden or if I should have put something on the outside. So if you have any tips for me on how I can do this better, please leave me a comment. If you like what you see, hit subscribe because we're always coming up with fun ideas about how to make the home look better and more functional and I'll be posting videos as we do more projects. I think next I might put a shelf up above there. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos if you want more fun stuff you can do at home.